Hello folks, Rever here on a new map and a new series on Grazy Land. I think I may have been said Grizzly Land, but I don't know what Grazy would be versus Grizzly is more common. So we start out here, kind of interesting little thing here where you can hit R and bring up your finances. My uh, insert button still works just fine. As a matter of fact, there's the insert button. So you can see I have uh, have a $50,000 loan from easy mode, but I have myself a million dollars. So I think I'm just going to, why not repay the loan? There we go. Loan repaid. So now we only have 950000 But if you watched the last video, you know that I got myself all of the equipment that I would want. To get started at least the bigger stuff so let's hit p and look at my garage not going to go through all of this you can watch the last video to see what i bought but we got ourselves some of the bigger tractors and enough of them this guy the smaller one i'll use for smaller jobs plus uh, spraying mostly that'll be my spraying tractor which is going to get used much in this soil mod let's play so i'm going to try to focus on mostly the soil mod stuff i'll have a little bit of stuff on just harvesting or whatever but i'm going to spend most of my time just saying you know this is what i did here and what i did there if i hit this button and come out to here another thing i will be showing you guys is this spreadsheet so what I even want to do right now, just for my own self, is say file, save as, and I'm going to put it in my documents, and nah, it's on my desktop, as a matter of fact. So let's save it on the desktop. I'm going to rename it Grazy Land Sheet. There we go. So now what we can do is as we get fields set up, and this is the diff, by the way, this is the, I have a color coded down at the bottom so I know which day, you know, the harvest is. So these blue ones are going to be, you know, call it the first day of, of rotation. And I'll come in here and we'll go over setting these up as we talk about each field um, or fields. So let's go back to this guy. And let's hit back button and we're going to hit the back button again and let's take a look at what we own so we own all of these fields down here and they all look pretty much ready to go which in the future I think I'm going to spread them out a bit just for the sake of time you know it's going to take quite a while so this one's not ready to go 13 but we got one you can't really see is that seven one two three four and five can we see it better if i do that yeah well some of them so there's seven so what i want to do is since all those are ready to go well i really just need to get these harvested so i think that's what i'm going to do and i'm probably going to do that off camera may take me a little while to, to get that done. Uh, like I said, I got plenty of big equipment for doing it. This would probably be the tractor trailer that I use to do that, but I really kind of want to get into this guy. By the way, I have the vehicle switcher, group switcher mod, so I'll probably get that set up here shortly. And let's pull this guy out of here. We need to drop this. Or do we go do the corn? Do we have corn? Let's see. Corn, yes. Field 13, and that's the one that's not ready. So, so I guess we will drop this guy off someplace. Oop. And I'm doing damage to things left and right here, all right. Let's just put this guy right here. And we should head out to some field, huh? Can we get, if we just 
Just turn this way. How do we get into field three? Yeah, I need to learn. This is one of the first maps. I mean, I've done other maps with the damage mod, but I just do need to learn to pull my tool. How do we get into said field three? Get out of the farm somehow. Try not to run into a bunch of stuff. Let's see how we can get. Oh, that's field three is what? That's like potatoes or sugar beets or something. So we don't want field three anyway. Let's come back to here again. Fruit types. Yeah, that appears to be potatoes. And what, seven's potatoes too. So we got a lot of potatoes and. We could probably get that guy course played and going. We can get any of these other fields going. One through four. We got grass growing up in here. Yeah, and everything's re definitely ready to go. So, well, let's see how we get out of the farm. I guess right over here. So why don't we start with field two? I really, you know, other than you saw me running around setting stuff, I really don't know much about this map. It's got a lot of stuff on it, which is interesting. So me, there it is right there. What's that thing? Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff I've never seen. Uh, I've spent a little bit of time on the map. I the stuff on this map. Oh, I gotta hit a button. Open barrier. Now, can I leave that? Does that barrier? I'll leave barriers open. I'm not much of a barrier kind of guy. Come on, don't hit that tree. I see we got German Schneidwerk. Case International Harvester Schneidwerk. So I guess that's header. Drop him right here. Huh? Well, let's get away from that other tree a little bit. Now, you know what? We need to. Where are we going to start this? We'll start this up in this corner here. Too many trees on this map, I can tell you that already. Some of these are coming down. Oh, and I do have a. Let's check something out here real quick. Probably should have bought it ahead of time. We'll make some money on this map. We're not going to cheat any more stuff in. Alright, so let's pull in. Let's see if we can just drop that guy there. I like this header because that, it's like a built-in trailer kind of thing. So in other words, there's no trailer involved. It just has its own wheels that fold up. Switch over here, you can see X fold header. It's not fold as in like the so it puts it into transport mode or out of transport mode. And being careful not to hit too much stuff. So, with stuff right around the edges of the field, I find that it's good to do two headlands. So, I will, let's do something else too. Control E. So, this is the group switcher mod and I hit the up and down arrow and I like to put my harvesters in group five. I put my tractors of different sizes in one through four. I'm going to try to avoid group eight a little bit because that changes the time to speed it up. I don't care if I slow the time down typically and don't notice but I will try to avoid using group eight in this map and I even need to get it out of my other map. So there you go so let me hit control well, let's go keep doing this real quick. So we switch over here. Why don't we make these two harvesters group six? So see, I'm just moving them. I can even use my gamepad here to, or not gamepad, but controller, Xbox controller. So this truck, I think I'm going to change up what I normally do. I'm going to put him in group five. The loader to go in group seven, I guess. For now. Doesn't really matter where you put it. 
this quad tractor. So the very biggest tractor will be the three. This truck, why don't we just put him in group nine? The little guy will go in group one, and I'll definitely keep him. And then these two guys will go in group two. So now I can also move him. Yeah, so we want the smaller or the bigger one. See, I can switch them back and forth as to which one will pop up first by hitting the left and right arrows. So I'll keep the bigger guy for now. It doesn't matter. I can, but I'm going to hit Control E to get back out of that. And one of the things I want to look for. Well, let's see. Is this the bigger guy? Control two. This is the bigger guy. So let's get him moved and come on, go straight. And I think I put this auger wagon. A lot of times I'll call it an overloader wagon. Put him over here. White building. So we'll get this overloader wagon. We'll get the. Yeah, I wish those doors would open up a little sooner. And there it is. So let's carefully go get him out so we don't cause damage. One of the nice things about soil mod is, at least I find it nice, is you have a full day for the, where the crops sit at the cycle. So the crops only grow at 12 o'clock at night. So it makes it a lot more challenging to make money because you go through days, but when you think about the real life days that you spend doing stuff, it's really the same amount of time to harvest or to do whatever you're doing. It's not like it's doesn't really take you more time, but in-game time will be more. So now we want to come over here and go to control five. No, that's six. No. I have to put that guy four. Right, let's get out here. Right, let's see what I'm doing. And I think I want to turn to my right. Use this guy to chase. I don't even know where my where my grain storage is at this point. I guess we should find. Well, let's take the pickup truck and find that. Okay, that barrier stays open. One less thing for me to run into. So we'll set up a chaser course. Well, I'm going to actually chase with the auger wagon. I'll set up the tractor to do its thing. It's going to be a bit of a pain with those trees along the field. Yeah, because this pipe will get stuck and everything else, but let's leave him right there for now. And let's come over to 9. Half the reason I got this guy was it's a fairly big map with a lot of stuff, so I just want to see where our grain silo. Can we see? Does anything look like a grain silo? Yeah, over here I see a, see something that I don't see a green. No, let's do this. No, not that. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't see a silo marked out. I can't believe they wouldn't put one on here. Yeah, see, this looks like no, what does this say over here? Yeah, chaff and 
grass and silage. There you go. Uh, yeah, that looks like it could be it, but I'm wondering why it just has... Let's see, can we... Yeah, I'm betting that is the... Kind of looking around up in the air. It only has one indicator there, so it's not like it's telling me wheat and all the other stuff I could harvest. Let's assume for a minute that's the thing. I, I might do a little test before I set up the course play course. On that note, try to get this guy going in some way that it's not wrapped around the trees. So what field is this? Field number two. We're going to do field work. Two. 13.2. What is the actual game say? 13.7. So, we'll, you know what? We can live with that. Starting corner is going to be the north east. We're going to go yeah, definitely south. Like I said, two headlands should be enough. We'll do the headlands first. I'm not going to put on four-wheel drive. I don't think I'll need it. It's a pretty flat field. Alright, so let's see what we get. Oh, you know what? It's behind the tree over there. So let me come up to this. Said I've you know this might be a bit distracting, but if you look, we've got the course starts over there. But I'm gonna come up because they always mess up these corners anyway. G X fold. B to start it. This is a big it's been a while since I used this big uh harvest. Straw is not suitable for a really guy. Oh, we got one of the good. So we don't have to worry about straw on this one. Now, this chaff that comes out does add to the moisture, or I'm sorry, not the moisture. It does add to the nutrients. So it'll add one end. So you got to keep that in mind when we're doing our calculations. Cut up the corner that he's going to foul up anyhow. I don't worry too much about it being this ground, so we don't run over crops. I need to miss that tree at the same time. Oops, I turned the wrong way. One more pass like this, and should be in shape. And whatever he misses, we can come back. And that should allow us to turn on here, far enough away from all the other markers. Here's waypoint. Nobody go. It's been too high to hit that tree. So it looks like the guy who set up this map did it with course play in mind, but he did put these trees around every single field. But hey, we'll sell them off for money. Alright, so there we go, we got that. To be honest, this being Canola. I'm not sure that I'm even going to use this guy. We'll jump into this guy and make sure we chase him down. So there you go. There's a uh, there is the start. So I'll get all of these fields harvested probably, and then whenever that's done, I will come back and we can talk about the next step.
which will be getting ready for the soil mod. I may even course play some stuff as things go along. You know, start doing some spraying while I'm while the course plays, doing other things. All right, well there you go. Uh, I will uh, be back in a couple seconds or hours, depending on how long this takes. I go back for a second. Well, not for a second, for a few minutes. I thought I would show you how I set up a uh, overloader course. In particular, what was happening to me was that the uh, when I went to run the combine over here, he actually filled up. You can see where he was stopping. You know, like in those blank spots is where he he couldn't quite make it the whole row and. Having to stop every time is a pain, and the reason I stop is because I have the crop destruction on through the drive control. So in a lot of cases, it's better just to overload. Now this field number two is probably small enough that I really wouldn't normally need to overload, but you know, since I got the equipment, I thought it probably not won't be a good won't be a bad idea. So normally, what I'll do is get this guy going. And if I have the course already set up, it might be a little bit different. Let's just back them up enough to tell the first one. There you go. Alright, so he's set, and I just cleared out a little spot just so I wasn't running over the crops when I set him up. So now he's going. And we should have a few minutes. He fills up pretty quick. Here we go on this field. Like we, I'm going to jump over to this guy. And try to see if there's not a good place that... Oh, that stupid red light. See, that, this might be a good place right there. See that? So what I'm actually going to do is... Well, let's get on the proper side of the road now that we... Probably, you know, let's just start like right here. And what we're going to do is just to load, you know, eventually it'll just be a load again. It really doesn't matter for a lot of courses. As long as you have the right waypoints, it doesn't really matter which one you select, as far as I know. So here we go. So we're going to start right here. We kind of want to get the one, two, three. Is that going to be enough? To... Let's stop further back. No, I'm sorry, I'm doing this guy wrong. Oop, ignore everything I just said. Well, almost everything. So. Let's take this. And this. Turn this 90 degrees. Come up onto this field. Around that tree. That's not a bad spot right there. The three starts from here on this one, so. So in other words, you want this guy to come up here and stop and wait for the next uh, go around. And looking at that, this guy's right smack dead in the way. So jump over to him. And why is my case he get stuck on? Let's drive down there and see. Oh, because he stuck his pipe out of the stupid trees. Yeah. He messed up my windrow most likely too. Alright, so let's just let's see about getting this guy off where I can. Yeah, these these trees are kind of tough. I don't want too close. He's trying to push that tree over as well. Close this and make it a lot easier on your pal. So yeah, I don't know where they get these guys from. An eight top gun school, that's for sure. So let's see if I him a little bit. So let's put his pipe back in. Enough. Yep. 
So, let me get this done and then I guess I could just leave him here for a second. Control 5. Get ready to just restart right here. I'll put his pipe in. He should be okay. Leave him there. And in the meantime, we're going to this guy. So we're going to start. We want this guy to start right here. I should have enough to get my three going. So before I have to turn. So there's one, two. There's the third one. So it should be okay as far as that goes. And we're going to take our time because speeding tends to mess these guys up really that far. Like I said, this isn't the kind of course that I would feel that I would do this. And our green silo is in this big shed here. And these doors, I wish be, the trigger was a little bit further out. To kind of, so just want to make sure you kind of slow down extra ahead of time. Nice and slow through here so that he doesn't want to you know, go slow enough he doesn't hit those doors. Let's go back to the entrance. It's not really the entrance, but this will work just fine. If he doesn't slow down there too much. guys take damage anyway. It may not, I may have to redo this course. I'll do that off camera if he, if he keeps hitting me that stupid thing. Yeah, these automatic doors in this game makes the less of Especially if you have that damage problem. So we're going to try to stay out of the field. And then what I'm going to do is put him right on this line. The main reason I want him to be nice and straight and square. So now we want to come in here and put on this. Not that. Let's come here and say drive from the nearest waypoint. I'm just going to set it back a little bit and save it. F1. Overload. So that should be good. I'm going to drive course, stop at wet waiting point, activated. So he's just going to stop and wait there. Unfortunately, he's going to be charging us. And we need to get back to this guy anyway. Right, so now what we can do is, we'll, well, once we get done emptying, we'll record a course for this guy. Those trees are far enough off that we can stop the place I can get to. Maybe. The problem is it's going to start back up and I'm not going to be able to help him. Well, he's missing the tree. Let's see if he makes it to the corner. Offloaded some more. Yeah, looks like he might. Didn't hit anything in his pipe in good shape. Yeah. Now, once we get that first headland done, at least he won't be in the trees. Drunken 
sailor. So, what we'll do with this guy is we'll, let's get this turned on with the GPS. Turn it 90 degrees. So, what we're going to do. do is try to find a nice place that this guy can come at the opposite direction. And again, usually what I'll do is I'll just do this on the field. You don't really have to. You'd be better off not. If we didn't have so many of those trees in our way, we'd do this a little different. Come to and you, get, you want to keep your number three rule. He'll actually go towards the second one of these dots most of the time. So, oops, did I turn that 90 again? So let's come up here. I'm not going to hit course recording this time. Now that I think about it, I'm just going to pull up like this. This is kind of like our practice run. And I want to get to a nice spot. You know, you don't want to be too close. You don't want to be too far. But you want it to get it to overload. And then I'm going to take this line here and I'm going to try to move it, you know, let's get real centered up so we can see right where it is. I see a little line right on the hood of the tractor. Yeah, you know, it doesn't, I don't know if it has to be that exact, but certainly if we get it close. So that should be pretty good. Let's just pull away. We're going to do start course recording. If I get these trees cut down, I may redo this one. We really don't want to do too much gyrations with these first couple. But I'm going to put myself on the GPS. And this gives me a nice straight run in. And right when you're in about the middle of the trail or something like that, you want to put a pause point. off and just get yourself, usually it's better to be in the field, and hit stop, and then file, so field one, chaser, save, and I'm going to come here, pick a, not the max drive. In case axial flow, drive course, you should go looking for somebody. Also, another thing to note, I don't know if you guys know what this, see pathfinding? And what that's trying to do is keep this guy a little more realistic, it may even help you, actually in some circumstances, where he wouldn't drive through the field. And one of the big benefits is this guy won't crush crops usually does pretty well. It, it's a good setup for course play is, is these two pieces of equipment. Or even the regular T8 is fine too. So he's going to offload that guy when he gets up to 80% full he'll, he'll run the course. He won't get there this time. Yeah, I might have to record that on the course again with that guy running the fence. This guy will chase fine too if you want to do the harvesting. Should do okay, maybe even better because 
that are smarter than Same thing with this one. See, I try to turn, you know, pick this guy up from like right on that line because my windrow cart comes around. No chance he'll get it on his own without me having to back and clean up after him. See, I say all that, I watch in there with her. Yeah, so get him going back with his here. And this knucklehead decides he needs to turn around right there. So off he goes. He should be yeah, waiting till fill levels reached. Which will be Yeah, next time he goes to offload this guy so we can wait. I'm uh, happy to be back to doing a soil mod video I decided. And I'll probably do the same chaser thing. I can't use the same wagon with the potatoes. That one's a little different, but what do we have here as far as fields? I haven't really looked. So four is a pretty long one. Big was the f five was the big one. And I got that one out of the way. And are those both potatoes, right? Yeah, that both potatoes. And I don't know if I'm going to do much with 31 right now, though owning it, you know, does lead to the point I might might be able to just go plant something. Oh no, you know what, we could use that for grass demonstration purposes. It's kind of a big field for that, but we're kind of out of the way. That's alright. Because grass is affected by the soil mod. So. One of the things I decided to do, I don't really know if this was considered fertilized here and now. Um, you know, it, it really doesn't look it if you look underneath of the plants there. Out. See what I mean? Like it really doesn't look like it was necessarily fertilized. I'm not too worried about it one way or the other. You know, but the, in other words, do the yield I get is it doubled? So I'm not even really counting this. But I want to, you know, fortunately I'm recording, so even if I forget, oh, there goes this guy. Let's see how he does. Hop into him for a second. So yeah, so we'll start, you know, I'm not going to plant all these fields in this game day. I'm not going to plant any fields, I don't think, in this episode. If it's a bit of a shorter episode, I'll come back to you know, working on one of the fields. Eventually we may have like just a daily update. Kind of show you what's happening with the numbers and what I'm spraying each day. Sort of like I did with the last videos, but do that spreadsheet. I have him set for a level. Once he gets to 80, he'll, he'll drive over to that. Not sure what's going to happen with the fact that he's sitting right here. Let's see how well he does. So we'll just he's going to go to the next point. He goes to the next point and decides that I really should have gone. Let's see how he drives towards that second dot. So you want this dot to be a little bit far away so it gets, see, and then he'll come around and get lined up, you know, right straight down. And that's why we use the, oh, pretty nice. Yeah, so that should work. It's a little bit of a small field, kind of, it's not small, small, but certainly for that combine and the setup it is. And even though you get that blue marker, he'll just drive on when he gets done overloading. So there you go. That's how I usually set these up. And then our, uh, you know, chaser guy, once he gets full enough, 
or our overload you know our tractor trailer he'll yeah and he'll, he'll be enough this time so maybe we'll hang out for another minute together and see how he does on his course like I said I, I won't re-record this on camera I'll just do the same thing to go a little slower and why are you there you go so just taking your time. I'm a little bit curious too if he does hit this. Does do you get damage when the course play guys hit things? did pretty well through these doors. I already did this one on field five, so reasonable amount of confidence. And he gets Shouldn't be stopping there. Let me see what he does. I'm even good. So we got 20% on the truck, 15%. So even when we get up here, I'm going to jump out. Let him see if he hits this thing. Now let's see if we take damage. Help me out. Ah, he kind of stopped. He was smarter than I was. So yeah, he didn't take damage because he didn't hit it. But yeah, you can see by the time I went through all that setup, heck, this field's almost done, you know? It's, it's just, this guy is a big harvester. Okay, that's a, it'll get me, uh, save me some time. Let's make sure this guy stops up here. So, you know, big trick, one of the big tricks of this is just a nice long run up. Let that trailer straighten out perfectly. And then same thing with this guy. Let his trailer straighten out perfectly. Yep, so he'll sit there and wait. I don't need that activated thing. And is it even worth him? Oh, yeah, he's not. All right, so there you go. So that's how I set up my overloader courses. Him. And I'll run around, clean up this field a little bit with that extra stuff. And then I'll get the other fields harvested which thinking about it we might even want a grass cutter huh we'll take a look all right i'll see you guys in a second oh guys i'm sitting here working on field number three and you can see it just past 12 o'clock noon and if we look at the weather it's over 22 degrees celsius so what happened is is if you look at the field moisture, and hopefully you guys can see all this down here on the soil moisture, it dropped from 57 to 43. So that's something worth noting. Um, I can log in and out of the game and every single time you do the temperature changes. So you do have control over that, but to be honest, I kind of completely forgot until it was, you know, I just kind of logged in for another session of getting these fields planted you can see from the time in the game it's 12 o'clock so you know while the episode's only probably around the half hour mark or so uh, I you know have obviously spent a few more hours in that getting these fields ready if you can see back behind the the potato harvester there that field number what the heck was it so number four was is all harvested so, in any event, um, just wanted to point that out. It's kind of important to note. And, you know, not the end of the world. We'll 
when we get into looking at the soil mod spreadsheet and you know figuring out what we need to spray we'll we'll do what we have to do to overcome you know that little bit of extra loss of moisture and that fact can really kind of help you if it ever rains you'll be able to uh, you know actually bring down your moisture so you'll want it to be hot you know after it rains potentially so it all depends so I to point that out and chase this the other thing I want to say is after harvesting most of these fields the only one I have left is Oh, what is it, field seven, I think? Yes, the little field seven that's right just to the northeast of the main farm there. That has some more potatoes in it. And anyway, uh, so I'm almost done the harvest. I need to, I want to deal with field 31 as well, the grass field. But uh, what I wanted to point out with all of this is that we have a tree problem. <laughs> you know, it's. I don't think I need to cut down every tree that surrounds every field, but I am going to, you know, just get rid of at least some of these that are, you know, when it, when it comes to entering the field, I don't have to, some of them aren't so bad, but if we come up here and look, you know, at least these trees up here are just like right on the edge of the field, so I think I'm going to take out every tree that's along this road. And, you know, see, look at that. That's just, that's right there. I mean, it's it's going to be tough. And since this is going to be the main corner I probably work from, so to speak, that's, you know, I'm just going to get rid of some, some if not all of these along the road. I may leave a couple along that fence. But I did find our, see, these are two silos here. So this, this seems to be like the root vegetable. If you go in the other way, there's a Remy sign. Still, still believe this is a well done map. I haven't, you know, the trees are a bit annoying. All these automatic doors are a little bit annoying to have to slow down, but they, they add to some reality, I suppose. So again, I kind of question how many farms could afford this many automatic doors, but hey, it is a game. On that note, what I'm going to do, I figured I might as well do it on camera, which is why I talked about the trees now, is come over to my mods and buy one of these Brooks chippers. If you watch my other video, you'll see that. I'm not going to show you that on camera at this point. And which color do we want it? Well, we've been going with this purple. Let's stay with purple. Why not? And then let's see. Do we have another tipper? Even if it's not that one. This one would hold it. It's, it holds a hundred thousand. It's probably a bit unrealistic in some ways. It's a tractor trailer based thing. What is this one? 59. So in other words, I just want to have something to get rid of the trees. You know, I'm not trying to be over realistic. So we will go with this. You know, I don't really like the fact that the price is so low or whatever, but this isn't, I'm not trying to make this a super realistic uh, series so there we go we'll we'll buy this guy and we should probably go and come over to here I'm not going to pull that with a tractor trailer so I will buy myself a dolly and then that way pretty shortly here I can go run a tractor up there and, and just you know I don't think I have a chainsaw do I See, I think it shows in the garage somewhere if I did own a chainsaw. Yep, I own a chainsaw. Okay, very good. All right, so we own a chainsaw, so I'll be able to cut down this, some of those trees in between episodes or at some point shortly here. Not sure how Field 7 looks, but... And we'll be getting set up here. So this, this episode's probably not going to be so much about the soil mod, just by the time I finish this segment. I may come back, or I will come back to start showing you just how I will make a plan for the, the crops we want to plant and get the soil mod spreadsheet set up. And then we'll go to episode number two, which will get into more of the soil mod itself. So, all right. Well, I'll see you in a second when the uh, when the harvest is over. 
Hello guys. I uh, just wanted to open up the spreadsheet. I was looking at the length of the episode, and it's probably already long enough now. If we jump back into the game real quick, you will see that I got all the fields harvested. Let's go to shift I. So let's see the growth. None of them are har or all of them are harvested. So we're ready to uh, make a plan and you know start doing our thing. I think I'll probably do something along the lines of split them up to harvest like one each day. Obviously, there's you know six fields right here, so I'll probably put like say two and seven or one and seven together, three and four on a different day, and then two and five we'll do in separate days not sure which one but in any event when we uh when we come back for the next episode i will you know get into laying that out here and show you how i sort of make this kind of plan where i have the different you know what i'm going to spray on each field and like i said i color code the different days down here at the bottom the printing's probably a little small to read but we'll uh you know get each of the fields and this will be like kind of the day one day two day three day four so all right well let me cut it and for me this time it'll be seconds for you it'll be probably a day or so before this video goes up to so this video and the next one so i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you have a good day take care bye bye